And there's a view inside the crew access arm, Raja Chari, Tom Marshburn, as they make their way looking out the windows towards their spacecraft. It's a great shot inside that. Uh, that is a great shot. That access arm. And there they are approaching the end. The capsule's well, just off to room, their left. Right? Yep. A there's a little room. tradition that happens inside there. Yes, we will sign the uh, wall of the white room. Got to make our mark. <laughs> and they're starting to do that there and getting a little guidance from one of the um, closeout techs. All stations if you're for just joining us. Pilot and Commander have arrived at the white room. We are 10 minutes ahead of schedule. The announcement of arrival. If you're just joining us, you are watching live coverage of NASA's SpaceX mission known as Crew-3. Good evening and welcome to the Kennedy Space Center here in Florida. I'm Daryl Nail, along with a recent passenger aboard a SpaceX Crew Dragon, NASA astronaut Shannon Walker. Thank you for being here. Absolutely. I am so excited to be here tonight. You've given us some great insight. Uh, and not only that, I get to watch a launch with an astronaut, which is pretty cool. I get to watch a launch, too, so it's all good. <laughs> it's all working out. So we are watching the first two astronauts uh, get ready to board, and there's been some mist out there, so we got to dry off the helmets. Yes, yes. As I said previously, you don't want to have a wet suit when you get into the capsule. So the, the suit techs there will uh, make sure that everything is just right before the crew gets inside. And it's a bit of a maneuver to get inside, Shannon, uh, that you practice, and we're about to see that. Yeah, you'll see that the astronaut has to carefully bend down and step over the hatchway. Uh, they do this for a couple of reasons. One, obviously you don't want to hit your head on the capsule going inside. You don't want to hurt your uh, helmet at all. And then two, you don't want to nick the seals on that hatchway because you need those seals to work properly to maintain pressure inside the capsule. And we just saw Raja step inside, and uh, next up is Tom. And it's uh, they're carefully placed inside. I saw one of the techs, you know, hold him up, say, well, hold on. Right, right. We do this uh, just so the choreography needs to be just right. So Raja's getting settled inside. He will be followed by Tom. And then after that, you'll probably see the suit techs go inside and start assisting with the strapping of the, uh, of the seat belts. And good evening, Raja. I have you loud and clear. Welcome to Endurance. All right, for now, let's... I got you loud and clear as well. Had a communication check there, and we'll watch Tom ingress to the Dragon capsule carefully. Watch your head. Yep, watch your head. Watch the seals. As he goes inside and takes a seat right next to the commander, Raja Chari. And what a great shot of a couple of our crew members crossing the crew access arm and waving hello. Uh, the umbilicals allow the crew to have comms through their suit, air to help keep them cool, as well as delivers nitrox for the suit pressurization. Now, as we mentioned earlier in the broadcast, the suit's primary function is to protect the crew in the event of a cabin depressurization. Yeah, that's right. And there are four seats configured right now inside of Dragon, and they are numbered one to four from right to left when looking at the seats. Rashachari will be in seat two or the commander seat, and Tom Marshburn will be beside him in seat three, which for Crew Dragon is the pilot seat. Kayla Barron will be in seat one, and Matthias Maurer will be in seat four. Directly in front of the crew members are three displays, which they'll use throughout flight, getting inside into Dragon systems, seeing any alerts or issues with the vehicle, if and if required, taking control and manually flying Dragon. Now we're getting some great shots of the crew members signing that white wall room. Um, and once they ingress uh, and get buckled in and strapped into their seats, they will do a comm check to make sure that they can hear mission control and then their seats will be rotated into position for launch. And the crew looks happy as ever <laughs> as they're running through some of these final steps before climbing into Dragon. Again, this is really their last <laughs> stop on Earth, right here in the White Room. Looks like they're trying to say hello to the camera there, <laughs> saying hello to the world. Again, wiping off those helmets, um, there was a little bit of rain outside before they um, entered the building, so 
They just have to make sure that their suits are clean, their helmets are clean. They also have a protective layer on their boots that's taken off before they get inside of Dragon. You can almost think of it as if you just cleaned your floors and you have something on your shoes that you don't want to bring into your house, you would take those off at the back door. And that's basically some of those steps that they're running through right now. And as you mentioned, Courtney, uh, you mentioned FOD, foreign object debris, even water. A foreign object debris is basically anything that is not supposed to be where we expect it to be. And that includes that water, that rain, um, any of the dirt if they were while they were walking outside. Um, so we want to make sure that we keep that out side of the dragon capsule and keep that clean room environment inside of that Apex vehicle. Dragon, any day of you now? C3 contact. And Tom, great to hear your voice. Welcome. That's loud and clear, Sarah. Good to hear your voice, too. And we'll hear some of those informal comm checks as they climb aboard Dragon and get hooked in to their umbilicals and into their seats. Getting a view right now inside of Dragon. Rajachari closest to us right now. Sarah, this is Kayla with a comm check for seat one. Kayla, I have you loud and clear. Great to have you on board. Welcome. Have you loud and clear as well? Thanks, sir. And again, an in informal comm check from Kayla Barron, mission specialist on this mission. And you just saw them already getting, working on those displays, those gloves <laughs> that they have, um, have touch screen capabilities. So they're able to just get into their seats and get right to it. It must be pretty exciting. As soon as they got into their seats, they started, started to check it out. And we can see Matthias Maurer climbing aboard now. And Dragon is designed for up to seven crew members, but today we only have four crew members, so it is configured for the four crew members on board Crew 3 today. Um, but underneath their seats is where uh, the extra three seats would be since we don't have them, we actually use that um, space underneath their seats for cargo. Yeah, and you'll actually get to see some of that cargo once those seats get rotated into launch position, which is one of those visual milestones that we'll run through. But right now we're standing by for some official comm checks from all of the crew. We've already heard some informal comm checks, the crew getting excited as they get into their seats, get hooked up to their umbilicals. Those umbilicals, of course, providing air and comms through their suits. And these suits fit specifically to each astronaut from the gloves to the top, the bottom, and the boots. Yeah, they are custom made. And we always say that it's basically an extension of the Dragon capsule um, because of how uh, basically uh, uh, this is basically their own personal AC unit. Um, Basic Dragon, the core contract is Matthias Sarah. How do you read me? I have you loud and clear, Matthias. Guten Abend und willkommen. 